For the circuit shown here, designed using one ideal op amp as is shown, we have Vs as input voltage source, and we have two R, R again, R and two R, and some load resistance uh, or impedance, and then we have this output current. Which one of these four multiple choices are the correct one in terms of relating the output current to Vs? Uh, so to, to understand that, there is a quick way to find the answer. Uh, let's focus on this node. It's node X. Voltage of node X is Vx. And if this op-amp is properly biased in re linear region of operation with the proper negative feedback overall, then the virtual short should be valid for the op-amp, which states that voltage at input positive terminal of the op-amp should be equal to voltage at negative input terminal of the op-amp, both of them equal to V of X. So therefore, the voltage here should be Vx as well. Now, take a look at these two R resistors. They have the same voltage at both terminals, meaning that on one side they have Vx, on the other side they have on the other side they have this common node. So since the delta V across these two resistor R is the same, basically they have the same voltage drop, therefore it indicates that same current is flowing through them. So now let's make the assumption that that current looks like this. So this same current, current let's say I, uh, is going this way and also going this way. This current is supplied, of course, by the output of the op amp. So uh, the current I is flowing both to the left and right, and we want to find it. Okay, this current I goes and reaches this node X, but cannot go. Uh, through through the input uh, terminal of the ideal op amp because that's infinite impedance. So nothing goes there. This current I should continue going this way. Okay, this node at the input is Vs, and we can see that across the through the 2R resistor, the current I is flowing. So I can now find it. I can say current I is effectively Vx um, and then minus Vs divided by 2R. On the other hand, this current I is coming this way as well on the right hand side. Again, cannot go through the positive terminal because uh, positive terminal has infinite input impedance for ideal op amp. So the whole current has to flow this way. Now, when it reaches this junction or node, the, it it, it is branching out into two current. One is IO, the other one this current, which is effectively Vx divided by 2R, as you can see, because, because this node is Vx. Uh, and on the other side, it's AC grounded. So Vx divided by 2R. So what I can write is the current I is equal to IO plus the other current is Vx divided by 2R. Okay. So let's just uh, wrap up. So we are almost done. Uh, on this side, I have Vx divided by 2R minus Vs divided by 2R equal to I out plus Vx divided by 2R. You can see that these two cancel out each other. And as a result, we find that I out is equal to negative Vs over 2R. So the right answer is D this one. It's very interesting because it shows that the value of, in this circuit, it shows the value of the output current I out is independent of the value of the load as long as the circuit is in linear region of operation. It's just a function of input voltage source and internal resistor R two times that. And the other interesting observation is the negative uh, sign here because it means as the Vs is increasing, the effectively current direction is this way for I out. That's the meaning of negative sign. So it's going this way through the RL. Um, so this is actually sort of a representation of a negative impedance. And this is why this circuit is referred to as negative impedance converter or NIC circuit. Um, and uh, it's very interesting that as Vs is increasing, the current direction, as I showed you from right to left, is increasing as well. So um, this is a very interesting circuit, though st stabilizing the circuit in practice is uh, not easy, but uh, it's, it's an interesting concept. I hope that this is helpful.